welcome to Lock Bear Phenomena number 10 band stream. <laughs> um, glad some people made it to the other channel. Wasn't uh, sure if very many people would, but uh, that's okay uh, considering the situation. Um, hello, uh, Lester Taylor. Welcome, Judy Wheeler. Um, I'm going to try and pop up all the chat because what's going to happen um, after I get back on the normal channel is I'll just upload this video over there. But I don't think the I don't think I can get the chat over there. If there's a way, I don't know about it. So um, I'll just uh, try to show as much of the chat as I can on the screen. And then that way anyone watching it can see what the hell is going on, what I'm responding to. Uh, I know I do it for the most part anyway, but, I'm with, but I don't always get them all. Um, hello, Annette. Welcome. Um, yeah, Brandy's making coffee. Yeah, probably so. I imagine she'll be here um, shortly. Am I uh, am I missing her in chat? Yeah, it seems like you're talking to her, but I don't see her. Is uh, let me jump over here on YouTube and see what's going on. I don't see her there either. Switch over to live chat. So. Yeah, I don't see Brandy at all if she's here. Sorry. I don't know what the deal is. Um, oh, I'm not sure exactly what day. It's like three or four days, I think, though. Um, it was fine, though. I didn't really... I need, you know, I had st other stuff to do anyway this week with uh, trying to move and uh, trying to get ready for a new job and it's been, you know, with the way things are right now, uh, RV parks are uh, are uh, heavily booked, so it's hard to get a spot in an RV park. Um, I am, uh, I have uh, pirated some Wi-Fi at a location I probably shouldn't disclose exactly, but um, um, kind of... Uh, west of Tulsa, we'll say that. Not too far from the Arkansas River. Uh, she will be here in a minute. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Tom Paul, welcome. Mr. Lee 3PO is here. Welcome. What do you guys uh, want to talk about in the uh, paranormal space tonight? Um, had some, uh, interesting, interesting week in the, uh, cryptid YouTube, uh, paranormal, uh, uh, live stream world, hasn't it? Um, you got a new show, you got Nikki's new show and, uh, um, Tuesday night was lively on uh, Moog's show. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I know he isn't. I know he doesn't want all that shit on his show. Uh, but I thought it was hilarious. <laughs> Watching a bunch of, you know, I don't want to say old guys. None of them guys are really that old. But, you know, old guys going at each other is hilarious to me. <laughs> And they'll probably just shake hands at the end, you know. They're not gonna, they're not gonna go full, full, uh, uh, full barbarian on each other. And then there's only one guy left standing. <laughs> but they, it was, I thought it was funny. You got, you just got, gotta laugh at shit sometimes. <laughs> Mark says, "Can't 
watch today heading out, but glad you are back on Lockbeard. Uh, thanks, Mark. Um, yeah. Yeah, well, my normal channel will be back in business in a few days, so. But I can't guarantee I'll be able to live stream as much as I was. It really depends on how things are going. Um, we will we will see. I'm hoping to get some kind of rhythm to things because I, I just can't really plan anything right now because I don't know what's happening day to day. So, like, I had no idea I'd be sitting at this location right now. I'm glad that I found this location. Um, it's not perfect. It doesn't have everything I want, but it'll work. Tom Paul getting all the highs in and better keep up with this. Keep up with this chat. Yeah, Mr. Lee, you thought that was funny? Yeah, I hope Moogs wasn't upset by me saying that. I, I just I I I don't mind I wouldn't I don't mind all that stuff on my show. Like I know that all the other shows for the most part there's certain shit they don't want on their show. Um you know, which is fine. And I'm trying to keep certain subjects off of the phenomena sh show and keep it on random lives. Um, uh, but sometimes it leaks in anyway. Um, cause I get it. Cause certain people, they're there for a certain subject. They're not here to see that bullshit. I get it. You know, um, Moog's is a real, uh, positive atmosphere uh, generally. And, and, it's funny when some people start to turn it into a not positive ap ap atmosphere. Moogs is like, fuck off. <laughs> I mean, it was funny, like, when he did it, the, I ain't gonna say which one, but he, he did like that, and the dude's just gone. <laughs> like, he slapped him right off the screen. That was lurking on Hyvelis Channel. It's strange. But yeah, I haven't had a chance to go over there and check out uh, Hyvelis yet. Um... I've been hearing stuff. It's just, I mean, there's just, there's just, I just don't got the time. You know, if I'm going to do this and try to watch everybody else and, you know, there's just so many things out there and, um, you know, I'd like to support everyone, but, you know, I'm sure most of you know that it's impossible. Um, it's just impossible. I was awake hours after Moog show, very amped after. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Lester. Uh, hello, Uncle Bones. Welcome. He's from Birmingham. They're all strange there. Uh, you talking about uh, Har uh, Harmonica Man? Is that what's his name? Who is he, really? Or do we know? I felt felt bad for Moogs. Yeah, Moogs don't want. Moogs seems like it to keep things fun and positive. So I get it. <laughs> so you know, um, everybody keep it keep it uh, keep it nice over there. You know, he doesn't he he doesn't want that kind of thing on on that show. And I think that people that are used to watching his show by now come there with that expectation. So. Hopefully everybody keeps it that way if they're on on screen. But it's funny it keeps he keeps getting in these situations where he's got to like like you know smack someone off screen. And uh, you know why? It's like it's like he's set a standard and then it's like that just attracts that attracts the the something outside that standard or something. I don't know. If I ever get on, if I get ever get on there and talk to him, I mean, I'll try to keep things positive too. You know, I, I know that's he doesn't want the the uh, the negative and the arguing and calling each other names and stuff like that. Um, if there's going to be any discussion over there. It needs to be, you know, uh, you know, nice and cordial and and. Uh, now, if all those guys come over here one night, if I ever start doing that, I don't know. You know, I'm leery of doing that, but actually having people on. But 
I probably will eventually. But um, you guys just go to town. <laughs> we're we're going to get some popcorn and some beer. <laughs> well, I won't have beer, but. And me, me and Mr. Lee probably won't have popcorn either, but you get the point. We're going to just call it entertainment time at that point. And who knows, maybe the guys will sort some shit out when the, when the cussing stops and the dust settles. Uh, Moke said, Moke's is cool. He gets some noise sometimes. It's understandable, though. Yeah. We all just have our days. <laughs> Uh, and that says joke was going to dress like a demarc demarcate for Halloween, but my head would not fit up my ass. Oh shit! <laughs> yeah, it's kind of hard. Um, I, I hate these these lines though. You know, because it if everybody understood that that they that both sides were being screwed. And they were purposely being made to fight. Like this whole argument between the two sides is engineered. They've been engineering it for a long time. They manipulate it with the news. So the sooner people realize that and just stop, just, just, just stop, the sooner we can defeat the ones that are causing it. Um, but that's a subject we're trying to keep off this channel, right? <laughs> I feel bad for Mogs, yeah. I want you to be... I want to be on your show first. I can't remember who asked me first. I should have been writing all this down. Like, people have been asking about that for a while. Um, I'm rocking my... I know. <laughs> he was drunk. Which is cool if you can hold your booze, but this guy was cussing everybody out. No business going live in that state. I, I, I'm, I'm a little divided on it. Like, I almost want to tell us, hey, make sure you get liquored up before you come on. <laughs> <clears throat> we'll, we'll go into it with our eyes open, though. We'll be like, okay, we're bringing Harmonica Man on, and he, 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 he was, he's been told to be to be at least three beers in or whatever it takes for him. Um, <laughs> I, don't, I don't care. We we'll probably did that on a, like a random live, though. You think? Probably not on Phenomena. I don't know. Fins. It was a joke. Yes, Mr. Lee. Um, Moogs is awesome. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Lester says one side knows the other, and one side knows the other doesn't. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, I didn't think it was you, but it might have been, but I don't, I don't remember. I don't remember who. Yeah, exactly, Judy. It sucks today. Um, um, I was trying to. Uh, um, Of course, you guys know that like my new job may may end up requiring me to shave my beard. So here goes my my beard lock, and uh, any any chance of doing the rest of my beard locks <laughs> in the near future. Um, so that 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 uh, that per, per particular. Um, in, in the micronational, I haven't gone into everything about the micronational thing. Anyway, um, uh, locks are sometimes referred to as spirit locks in the, it's kind of, a, um, I hate to call it a religion, but, uh, anyway, um, because they have something to do with, the. Uh, 
uh, connection to to that which most people would call spiritual. So that would have to be put. It's so it's kind of a ceremonial thing and 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 something that is is meant to be uh, uh, something that every man should aspire to is to 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 never cut his beard and to get it in locks and then ev and for every person to get locks in their hair. So I just haven't done it all yet. And uh, so if my beard's going, I'm probably going to do my hair then. So I was talking to the, I was trying to communicate with someone I communicated with before that was, I was vetting to, to do my locks. And I saw that they had a muzzle required. Now, I'm not going to go in there and sit in there for hours wearing a muzzle. I'm not going to go in there for five seconds. So I was trying as nicely as I could to tell her, that, look, you know, I can't, I don't, I won't do that. You know, I was wanting her to make an exception. And uh, she was rude and told me she didn't need my business. And I said, okay. So... But that's okay. Within minutes, I had found someone who, who was totally um, willing to, to do it. Uh, no mask involved at all. So, um, so screw you, all you people. Put put a CO2 sensor behind your mask. I'm just saying, everybody, do that. You want to see an OSHA violation? Fucking do it. Yeah, we're trying to stay off that subject, though. Damn it. A harmonic man is more suited to your channel lock period. Yes, man, get them all. Yeah, if he pop, if he comes around one of these days, like I said, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do guests for a while. Um, you know, maybe months away. Like I gotta. Well, I need to buy a place. That's what I really need to do. I don't want to rent. I mean, I'll do like RV parks, but but I don't want to rent a house. Um, so I'm kind of poking around for properties in the area. That way, if uh, whatever structure I have will be built my way instead of whatever piece of shit somebody built. <laughs> and I won't have a landlord involved and then I can do what I need to do. Um, because there's some things I want to be able to do that I can't do if I'm renting a house. Just can't. Um, <clears throat> and build and, and, and stuff like that. Anyway, then I can just get uh, uh, some, some uh, I'm sure they got uh, fiber optic running through here somewhere. So that's what I'll do. Because I don't want to be bathed in Wi-Fi either all the time. It's not... I, yeah, I can't. I don't even know if I can say that. You don't. I don't want to be bathed in Wi-Fi all the time. It's bad, bad for for me. And you may you may decide that for yourself. Yeah, um, yeah. What if what you know? There, there's some that believe that there's something there. You know, um, you know. Now the the, the spiritual traditions. I mean, it may be a suitable subject for a lot of phenomena. Um, now, the, the traditions I'm talking about in regards to the Eternus Empire, they are completely f come from me um, with some influences outside of me, but of course. But, um, but as far as, you know, you know, you just, just look into it, man. You know, I'm not really, I don't want to you know, there, there's something about hair and something about locks. Um, dreadlocks is just a very narrow, you know, that's, that's a Rastafarian term. Um, but that's what most people know them by now. Um, which I hope to change that, you know, a little bit because 
Um, technically, this is not a dreadlock because I am not a Rastafarian. So, um, as always, the way random lives go. Remember Ed Sullivan and Art Linkwetter. Um, I don't know. Was there, did they have a big argument? Um, thanks, Judy. Uh, Les says, hey, it's okay, dude. I just shaved my two year beard and hair and I feel okay. <laughs> yeah. But the point is, I simply, uh, I do not, I do not want to do it. And, uh, I guess the owner and the manager are trying to find a way to make it where I don't have to cut my beard, even though I've told them that, that if I have to, I'll do it because I, I simply cannot turn down this job. You know, it's just, I can't. <clears throat> this, this last year and a half has been a complete mess and things weren't too great before that. And uh, so I need it to happen. But um, but I think that once I get into it and at some point, um, if I have some conversations with some safety managers and get them to thinking about what they're doing because the the mask that 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 i will have the the uh, respirator i'll have to buy for someone with a beard like me um costs uh you know 1500 1800 dollars employers aren't willing to buy that and uh, they rather have you have that that the, the face mask that uh rely on a seal to protect you and when you uh, inhale, it creates negative pressure inside the mask, which means there's all kinds of potential to leak around that seal, no matter how much they think they got you sealed. And I can't remember, there's different numbers depending on what trials they've done, but they found that uh, that the, the PAPR, which is what I'll have to buy, um, is at least 10 times more effective than those other masks anyway. So the employee is way more protected. It's just they don't want to pay the expense. And I guess, you know, OSHA and NIOSH and all of them aren't, aren't making them do it as a, as a cost of doing business to provide the superior protection to the employees, which will also allow people like myself to keep our beards. Um, you know, it, it's a, it, it sucks that it's like this because it, in effect, discriminates against people of certain religions, you know, Sikhs, Jews, Muslims. Um, it pr puts a barrier between them and certain jobs. Um, get a lockup garage for a studio. Yeah, maybe. Um, well, I have certain ideas about you know, of course, my ideas change depending on what kind of terrain I'm going to end up having. Um, there's an area here. I need to talk to the, like, it's not for sale, though. But I have, I hope that, because sometimes even if the place is not sale, if you just go make an offer, they'll, they're like, hey, you know what? Business has been bad. We need some extra cash. We'll sell the land. And this, this area here, there's these... You know, it's rocky and hilly and there's there looks like there's these huge crevices so I'm hoping to find something I can work with to uh, for under underground effectively underground construction it's an environmental <clears throat> environmental job on my degree is environmental management and uh, this this job is uh, uh, emissions testing trying to make sure we can all freaking breathe because you know all for free enterprise but the problem is is you always have those trying to cut corners unless you make them keep the keep the theirs up to standards um 
I mean, it's happened before. It'll happen. Somebody will always try to cut corners and risk the public outcry over it, but that that is a risk they take. You would think in a in a free economy that that it, it don't always work like it should. So you kind of got to have some regulation to keep people from poisoning everyone in the area. Uh, Judy says, I have met most all of you guys and everyone is doing the best they can and should not feel like it was like it wasn't good enough. It's a crazy new world we're living in. Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Lee's locked up garage. Yeah. It it may be it may be a step in in it may be a step I have to take. It's it is a good idea. Never hurts to ask where she looked. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you, Judy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, thank you. I like to think I do. Um, clearly, I don't know. You know, the more the more you learn, the more you figure out you don't know. And, but it sucks because, you know, with every step along the way, you realize just how much your average citizen doesn't know. You know how much they've been brainwashed to think and how much they just haven't been exposed to. And, um, you know, this, this community, when it comes to the spiritual issues, if they understood what spirits really were I, I, I personally uh, like I'm the kind of person I want to know whatever it is you know you have some people like I, I'd rather not know something you know they'd rather not know um, I'm the kind of person I'd rather know so I can deal with whatever the hell it is and, but some people don't want to deal so you know that's just the way they are but um, we would get so much further if people understood what spirits really are and what our true nature is but we got these two competing sides you got people in these various religions who have one idea and then you have people who are not religious who have an entirely different idea and Lockbeard's about to tell you that both sides are wrong <laughs> For the most part, they, they, they got their, their, they got their, some got a, a little bit right here and there, but, and, and it's hard for either side to imagine. It's like, what do you mean? What, is there another option to uh, think, kind of think about what these things are? Yeah, yeah kind of. Um. It's, kind of, it's sort of like what Thor said in the MCU to Jane in that botched romance that turned into a stupid joke after a while in the franchise where he said, uh, he said, you call it science, your ancestors called it magic, but I come from a place where they're both one and the same thing. It's kind of like that. It's not perfect, but the explanation uh, he's been he's been heavily hinting that <laughs> um, I'm open to it you know um, but like I said everything's just too up in the air right now as far you know because how would we you know um, schedule 
you know, something. Um, I, I need things to settle down. Once, once things settle down, then I can figure out what's going on. Because I can't even, you know, I can't even live stream on my regular channel right now. <laughs> so, um, which, like, he wants to, he said he, he, does, he wants to do something that's not cryptid. So, I guess he wants to go down a lot of these rabbit holes I've been been on on random lives and what I would do on like stock and barrel the one I plant stock and barrel would be just like random life but at a regular scheduled time and kept to two hours and possibly have guests like random live probably not ever be a big guest thing once I once I start doing guests at all on on the channel, but um, I know I need to like I need to I need to I need to grow it. I need like uh, it was sucks because I wanted to I wanted to sync up with Odyssey and I, and I couldn't because I don't have enough subscribers. So um, I got to wait for that and still having troubles with BitChute. Like, I, I swear I'm talking to a robot in these emails. Like, the dude can't seem... Like, one question he can answer just fine, and then the other question is like he completely misunderstands what I'm freaking talking about. So I'm having troubles, like, getting everything on my channel synced up to a, to a channel on a different platform so that if YouTube decides to just completely screw me, I can jump over there where uh, a lot of channels have had to go with their as to be, become their regular content you know there's a reason why the media has been demonizing like bit shoot they keep focusing on oh, all the premises and the and the haters and all they're all well yeah because youtube doesn't allow free speech so they all jump over to, to there where they allow free speech and you guys are focusing on the fact that the those people jumped over there well you sent them over there for one and two uh, uh so the fuck what don't watch their channel if you don't like their shit don't watch their channel it's as simple as that you don't have to shut people down just change it's just like a tv set just change the freaking channel change it you don't have to watch it. The same for, for, for chat. If someone's saying something you don't like, just when you see their name, don't read what they typed. It's real simple. You don't got to ban anybody. They, they can keep talking, and you you don't have to read it. You really don't. I mean, I don't understand why everyone thinks you got to ban people on chat because they said something you don't like. Anyone that doesn't want to read it doesn't have to. Just Just skip over the name. Yeah. Meet in the middle. Don't let anyone hijack your stuff. You got a good thing here. Hijack you mean what do you mean hijack it? I don't know. You mean like a bad gas or something? Dinner time for Annette. Enjoy. Lockbeard's already eaten today. Little little chop sirloin. Yo. Uncle Bones. Um I uh, know I didn't, Mr. Lee. Um what was I doing? Part of the part of that I think I was watching something else. But I don't remember what I was watching. Was it something the Sasquatch about on at that time? Maybe? I don't know. But Turtle Man, I, like, I don't know. Like, I haven't paid too much attention to Turtle Man because he, he was, appears to be entertainment. You know? I love turtles. Obviously. Told you guys before I love turtles, but um, I saved one off the road a couple days ago, actually. It sucked. I was driving along, and I saw where, right after I picked that one off the road, half mile down the road there was another one that someone had run over 
and, and there's not heavy traffic on this road. You can avoid the damn turtle. I think people run over them on purpose. Well, I know they do because I've gotten out of the car to pick one off the road and come and, and, and someone else is driving that was coming behind me and they, they ran over the turtle right in front of me. I'm like, you freaking assholes. So whenever I can, I try to get them off the road because, you know, there are people that run over them on purpose. Bigfoot, no, I'm welcome. The beast are cool. Yeah. Saw that comment on Cowboy's channel about you. Swamp. That guy was barking up the wrong tree. Yeah. Connor is now the boogeyman. How's that? How's he the boogeyman? Just a good old boy. Never meaning no harm. So, yeah. I don't know. What else has happened this week in the Bigfoot community? Why does he leave? You talk. You talk too fast. <laughs> who, who was that I said on the other day? Because a lot of times, if I arrive to a stream late, like you know, if I'm just thirty minutes late, I'll go ahead and start at the beginning and run it at two x speed, and then catch up. So, uh, if I, if I'm thirty minutes late, it it, it amounts to about. 30 minutes to catch up and be, you know, catch up to live by the end of the hour, right? And so if it's a two-hour show, then I'm watching the last the last hour of the show live. So um, I told them, I said, I, I, I do that, but I can't do it when, when uh, Connor's on because uh, you can't, no one can listen to Connor on 2x speed. It doesn't fucking work. <laughs> he talks too fast already. And it, it violates the laws of physics. <laughs> so I might I might slow it down to one point five speed for Connor. <laughs> Keep running near everywhere. Brandy's here. Welcome. Brandy just looking, huh? Mr. Lee says, Yeah, don't take it too personal though. Yeah. Yeah, don't 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 take any of shit personal. Just roll with it. It's just internet bullshit, you know. It's just words, sticks and stones. You know, it's funny how people get so goddamn bent. I mean, yeah, we got we got people getting bent when the words aren't even really about them. So, yeah. Uh, Mr. Lee, I see that and on. It'll be okay. Keep on keeping on. Lester says, I don't want to say anything negative about anyone here referring to someone wanting to use your ideas. Oh. Uh, you know, if, if I got to worrying about other people doing what I'm doing, you know, every idea has been thought of before. I'm sure... I'm sure everything I've done on here, somebody else has done something similar, you know? Uh, so, you know, let them, let them, don't worry about it. Um, you know, if you, I mean, if you are enjoying screwing with them, like jumping in their chat and saying, didn't Lockbeard do this six months ago? <laughs> Have fun with it, but um, I don't know that I have. I don't know that I have a copyright on any any of this. Um, you know what I mean? It's like every every idea has been thought of before, um, and if it's true that 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 every idea doesn't really come, it comes from the universal mind, right? From the universe already contains every possible idea and whether 
when you have when you think you've come up with an idea, you really just you know grabbed one, grabbed an idea out of the universal consciousness that was already in existence. So it really isn't original at all, even though you think it is. So I don't know. I'm not going to get too worried about it if people are trying to do what I do something that appears to be my idea, like, because I don't necessarily think that my ideas are original anyway, you know, as far as, I mean, am I, am I, am I trying to do something that I think a lot of people aren't doing? Like, uh, all the other channels that are pushing about, you know, pushing for logic and reason and stuff like that, they are, but they're, they are trying to keep, you know, they're trying to, you know, play nice to a degree. And um, and not say some of the stuff that I'm that I'm saying. Although I'm sure some people have said some of the stuff I'm saying. The, the, the tree needs to be shook. The tree needs to be shook. So I'm going to try and shake the tree every so often on here. And it's going to piss people off. Um, you know, there's a couple cases that that you know i don't know how soon those situation how soon i'm going to bring those things up on here but when i do i guarantee um it's going to piss people off and they can either accept the, the the truth or be all pissed at me for exposing the truth but they will not be able to deny the truth and it's unfortunate that some people who who know don't feel like they can they can say things you know they know something they can't say it because of the repercussions people are going to mess with them and attack them and they don't want to deal with that and uh so hopefully i can serve some kind of purpose in that regard because i don't give a shit if they attack me <laughs> i don't give a shit you can't take anything you, I, you, you know, especially if you're a liar and a thief and a hoaxer, your, your opinion of me, like, has a negative value to me. <laughs> so, so go ahead and say it. I don't give a shit what you think, you know. <laughs> so, you know, those people that are. But, yeah, don't worry about it, Lester. I mean, you know, don't worry about it. Hello. I better catch up in some chat here. Like I said, when I switch this over to the other channel, the chat may not come with it. So I'm going to try and throw everything on the screen. <laughs> yeah, we're going to have to rewrite physics for trying to explain listening to Bigfoot and on on 2x speed. It's just, just uh, we got to. <laughs> Hello, Danny. What's up? <clears throat> What's up? Let's see, try and catch up with this chat. Um, Danny says, I always try to watch every show and on is on because I know something interesting is going to happen. Yeah. This is a really age old problem. Nothing to under the sun. Yeah. 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 You know, you know you're, I'm sure. A lot of people when your when your kids and your you know these different fads come through and your parents are like you know that fad uh, made it made the rounds thirty years ago when I was a kid too no oh, yeah everything everything circles back around um, all of the science that we're starting to figure out a few of us was known by the ancients. You know, you got we got mainstream science that still does not understand that the ether is is real, and understand that a lot of the observations that they have made prove it's real. But they 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 they're stuck in this box where they don't understand. They they, they can't. They're not thinking in the right way. So they're coming up with this whole different science that's not real science. It's a pseudoscience. Because, you know, and they're like, we're, you know, one of these days we'll achieve grand unification, except they never do. It's been years and years and years. They'll never achieve grand unifications until they stop and go the fuck back to the drawing board 
and uh, and try again with the, with with a totally different interpretation of many of the observations that they made, because they've misinterpreted a whole lot. I mean, they got all of you believing that something like light is an actual photon particle. <laughs> they, they got you believing it's a particle. Uh, 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 no. Or electrons. They got you believing there's an actual particle flowing through the wire. And, and, and it's, no, it's something else. Something else is going on. They think that there's nothing going on there. There is something happening, but they've misinterpreted what it is. And their only way of reconciling all the little problems with everything is to try and discover some new tinier particle that explains this or that. And, and, and then they got these colliders and they're smashing things together and people are thinking, oh, my God, they're going to create a black hole. Don't worry. They're not going to create it. They're not going to say, look, that the, the colliders, the hadron, large hadron collider and all that stuff, tinker toys. They don't do shit. Might as well be playing with a bunch of Legos, those dipshits over there. I'm sorry. I know it looks like big science and they spent billions of dollars. Look, they're not going to. I'm sorry. They can't. They can't do anything with that, but just confuse themselves more. And they have been. Oh, we discovered a God particle. Dipshits. There are no particles. You haven't discovered any particles. I'm sorry. You saw something, you observed something, you just misinterpreted it. Oh, man. I can handle it. The guy that is, was a coward. I hope I continue to run him off. Brandy says, Harmonica Man clearly stated he goes around about to pay, debating people all the time. I believe he purposely came on to do just that. I don't agree with the name calling. He could have done without that. Well, sure. Like he should have done it on Moog's show because Moog's doesn't like that kind of stuff on his show. Um, so if I ever like, if I do start having people on, and and he comes on to probably probably be a random live, probably don't want to do all that on Phenomena, but um, just be advised that um, I'm I'm just gonna enjoy the show. <laughs> You let it let it run let it happen you know and maybe maybe in the course of the battle some things are learned um or maybe not and we just we're wildly entertained <laughs> I, I don't know it's hard to say i mean he he might he, he might have been able to make some decent points but but uh, he was being aggressive and calling names so it kind of so I think he's got some good ideas in his head. It's just you know wasn't going to work in those in that situation. Um. So, uh, so yeah, Judy says. Uh, Although I must admit I do sound like them. Huh. You met your parents. Um, Bigfoot and Nani have a way of bringing so many people together. It's almost unreal at times. But it's awesome. Danny says, is Harmonica Man the same guy that has that channel something to Sasquatch about? Just wondering if that was the same guy. No, no, no. Those guys are two, they're two totally different personalities. Um, yeah. Yeah, different guy. I think I pride myself in that try to build bridges so the u.s government can never mind we know what they do to bridges at least overseas <laughs> something this ask question about is sean he would never talk like that yeah he wouldn't talk like that he 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 he, he probably of all the people in the big fit community i have the feeling he might be the one that is the most critical of what harmonica man did uh, like Kyle look like uh, big fan on Danny Jean is something to watch about harmonica man was the drunk dude on Wokes channel um it I, I, it was, was kind of hard to say which side he like he was arguing for really um 
I don't think entirely. I don't think he is entirely. Uh, let's just uh, join the chat to joke around and make friends and try to learn new things along the way. Now I'm being called a troll. Who's calling you a troll? Did somebody, nobody called you a troll here, did they? Um, Randy Harmonica Man calls out the Bigfoot, calls out to the Bigfoot and little people every time he hikes, so he knows he was name calling and saying he doesn't believe everything. He had a Sasquatch counter. Uh,. He literally talked for 240 seconds straight and made no point, so I had to tell him he was putting me to bed. <laughs> and Brandy says, you're welcome, Connor. Don't change a damn thing about yourself ever. More people need to look at the world the way you do, not flat. <laughs> With appreciation. <laughs> uh appreciate you, Brandy. Full speed ahead with positivity and negativity, we will get drowned. Yeah, just drown it, drown it over here. I, I let them. I hey, look. If it, if it, if if something like that ever happens on like random life, just just laugh at. It. Don't get don't get mad. You know, like oh he called him names and just 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 laugh at it. Consider it entertainment. You know, it's just old guys, old grouchy guys getting getting grouchy with each other. Uh, Brandy says, "What? Well, if Ramona Command can come back and play nice, he should get another chance. Yeah, if he goes on the, like Moog show or any, well, anyone, pretty much most anyone else's show, he needs to play nice. Or if he wants to to play nice on here sometime, that's fine. However, I thought that whole thing was funny as hell the other night, and I think everybody's going to get over it. You know, nobody's nobody's permanently scarred, I don't think, and." And uh, just consider it something to laugh at. But he shouldn't do it on Moog Show because Moogs don't like it. That kind of thing going on over there. Danny says, I got kicked off of an unnamed stream today for talking about that BS artist Turtle Man. I called listening to his voice Turtle Torture. <laughs> Um, why don't you want to name them? I right, look, I am totally okay with naming names up in this bitch. I, I hopefully my previous live streams have shown that. Um, like, yeah, I mean, sometimes I'll, uh, yeah, I'll play a little nice myself about certain things. There's some things I'm keeping under my hat for now, but, um, but uh, if you in chat want to call names, call names. I mean, I have a number of guesses. I don't know if I should make them or not, but yeah, who says you're a troll, Lester? Uh, I missed something too, I guess, Brandy. Send him the big bro up here. <laughs> yeah. They're just going to make me laugh a little bit and hopefully make people watching laugh. Just be, you know, just be aware, you know, that could happen and, you know, let, let, let the old grouches, you know, do what old grouches do. Um, let's just, my questions were removed from chat and was referred and was referred to as one last night on a channel where everyone is welcome here let's see what was last night friday um i only watched one show last night i don't know was uh bigfoot odyssey on yeah bigfoot odyssey will block you in a Second, you gotta be careful what you say over there, because they have no concept of free speech in the chat. You know, you need to 
push the narrative and bullshit Odyssey. I mean, Bigfoot Odyssey. Did I say that again? Damn it. Yeah, just look at it as some Jerry Springer shit. Eat your chicken in your back. Yeah, Lester. Uh, you're welcome to say what you need to say about it here. You can call names if you want to. I don't care. Um, I'm sure they're going to be pissed off because, you know, even a lot of a lot of shows will not let you talk shit on another show. You know, I, I, you know, I don't see this talking shit. I, I see it as you saying how it is. They are banning people for saying something that they don't agree with. You know, if you, if, if someone says Turtle Man uh, is not legit, you know, they don't want you to say that because Turtle Man is is uh is a uh, content for them and it, 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 you know uh, props up the uh the fantasy for the viewers that they just want the fantasy the people there's there's certain people who watch this kind of stuff but they don't they don't really want to watch a show like mine for sure and maybe, you know, Squatch Talk and something to Sasquatch about and others. Because we're not just going to believe any bullshit story. You know. I mean, we may listen to a story and say, well, you know, it's an interesting story. Um, but, um, you know, but we need evidence that the story, it, it, we need supporting evidence of it because... You know, that person could have been mistaken. They could have been hallucinating. They could have, you know, who knows? They, you know, maybe they, you know, ate something that affected them bad, or or maybe they were exposed to something they don't know. Uh, some people potentially could have been hoaxed and didn't realize it. You know, you see a Bigfoot in the woods, but you don't know that it's really some dude running around out there in a suit. You know, it could happen. I mean, the fact that we have actually, we, we know of actual hoaxes that have occurred, we know that there are people who will do that. They will hoax people. You know, what the reason is, who, you know, who knows, but um, they will. Mr. Lee says, I find all this ego bull funny, though, that Leon can be mean calling chat la la land <laughs> yeah uh, brandy says and on do you have another channel or is there another bigfoot anon named aaron i think there's might be another one out there seems like i saw one at some point but they could just be trolling him uh, Danny says, I never, I try never to criticize in public people I actually like, even when they're on the wrong side of an issue. Uh, Connor says, hey, Annette, just Bigfoot and on here on YouTube. Some people think it's Bigfoot Aaron. Oh, gotcha. Mr. Lee says, Dan, what's the wrong side? <laughs> Grab a cup of coffee, yo. You didn't get a notification for Squatch Talk last night. I'm telling you, YouTube doesn't notify. Like you just, they they're trying to censor people. They're totally they do it and they think they're being sneaky about it. But we're we're but but we're seeing what they're doing. We're seeing what they're doing. They manipulate what shows up. You know why is it when I go over to uh, my homepage? YouTube YouTube homepage. Why is it that uh, that after I've created this stream, it isn't like right here at the top? And why is it that some of these the the channels I'm subscribed to that have a live coming up very shortly 
um, and and I have them so I'm subscribed and and notification bell set to all why isn't that one at the very top of this page they'll be like three lines down sometimes four lines this is those are those are my most highly prioritized and they're be sitting there with several videos above them that are just random crap you know they're not they're i don't know i've told youtube you know by subscribing and clicking a notification bell set to all that these are high priority videos why the hell isn't at the top of the freaking page <laughs> damn it because they're manipulating what you get to see or what you happen to see or get exposed to they're trying to keep you from seeing certain things You know, so you got to go an extra mile to make sure, you know, it's kind of part, that's part of the reason why I made the TV guide. You know, if I, if, if I'm jumping on YouTube, I'll go check it. I'll go look at the guide, see what's supposed to be on tonight. And then, uh, go, uh, try to, you know, go directly to the channels a lot of the time. Actually, the TV guide has the links to all the channels, so I can just click the link and it'll pop up. But, um, so, you know, I can get there directly, but I don't know. They're, they're, they're trying to manipulate what you think. It's thought control, YouTube thought control. Connor says Fridays tune into Missing Person Mysteries. I'm on the Friday Campfires, 1111K subscribers. Nice platform, great channel. Danny says, in this case, people in our community believe in Turtle Man is anything more than... In this case, people in our community believe in Turtle Man is anything more than entertainment. I'm not sure exactly. Are you are you saying that that some some people in the community believe that Turtle Man? Anyway, I I'm sure you're just trying to say that some people actually believe he's legit, but he's really only entertainment. Is that what you're trying to say? Uh, yes. Uh, Bigfoot and on is Connor. Uh, Mr. Lee says Dan Entertainment, pure and simple. Bigfoot and on Connor says, I was suspicious of Turtle Man after watching his shows after the interviews. I believed most of it, but I've heard some things. Yes, yes. Uh, initially it jerks my chain I and people like me are busting our ass to put real and true stuff on us on a serious to us issue and these TV entertainers try to take advantage of us yes yeah if they have been on the television set actors that should, that should be your first sign. No matter how hard they work to try and seem legit actors. Now that, that's that's just the that's the deal. Uh, Bammer Bigfoot, welcome. Yeah. Yeah. They're having a good conversation over there. Um, Brandy says, I don't know what you could say to warrant being called a troll over there. So they, he was called a troll on Squatch Talk? Sad thing is, it was the first channel I joined the chat because I liked it so much. 
Uh, who called you a troll? I didn't see that. Although I wasn't paying close attention to the chat most of the time. I was trying to do stuff and I was listening. Brandy says, Turtle Man doesn't fall under entertainment category. This, that is sad, Lester. Hope you will still hop in chats elsewhere. Don't let that keep you from meeting good people. Yeah. Judy says, what's the real problem with a person speaking their experiences is called into question downright rudely verbal tone of voice and comes off as ridiculous for a person. What's the real problem with a person speaking their experiences is called into question downright rudely, verbally, like um, he's saying that some people are questioning people's stories in a rude manner, and that makes them seem ridiculous. Somebody give you coffee. Lester says, knew something was up. I say hi to the host and am the only one ignored. Pat ignored you? Or was it somebody? Because somebody took over for him um, last night. I guess officially that would be was it primarily Central Florida Bigfoot? Was it him? Yeah, there are um, they're, they're actors. Uh, yeah, and and you know that they use the TV to program people. Like like everything on there is meant to manipulate you somehow in some way. You know, they, they got to be approved to be allowed to be on there. If someone went on there with a Bigfoot show and was actually showing real evidence that they found, they wouldn't be allowed to be on there. They'd take them off, they, or they wouldn't let them on in the first place. They're, they, look at every single show that they've had. Uh, or, you know, they, they look and look and look, but they never find, you know, and they try to say, oh, look, we got this evidence, or there's this and that, and they, they're ne and they never find. I don't feel like that's, I don't feel like that's an accident. I think they're meant not to find. Um, and they make a mockery of this entire subject. I think it's one of the goals of them shows. Because most people, the n people that are non-believers, when they see those shows on there, they think it's just this goofy shit. And it's, and it's supported by what they see. They see, you know, people hooting and hollering at the woods and beating sticks on shit. You know, it doesn't, it doesn't do any favors to the subject. That's not, that's not, legit science that's people hooting at the woods and beating sticks on shit <laughs> i'm sorry it's not uh you know if you can show to me that that's accomplishing anything i mean please do but uh you know some people are trying to claim they know what these things mean how the hell do you know what these things mean did you sit down with a bigfoot and develop uh, communication, like fully fluent communication with that person and say, okay, when you guys beat on a tree three times, does it mean this? Uh, no, little human, it means this. Did that conversation take place? Because you don't know what the hell that shit means. I'm not buying it that you know what that shit means. If it's them at all. For that matter. At the end of the show, that's the best I can do from Indiana. Virtual hug. 
Yo, Lock Period Chat. Hey, Hiveless. Welcome. I heard you were on earlier. Where do you get your channel back? When? Oh, at. Uh, I think Monday or Tuesday. I'm not sure. I can't remember what day it actually happened. But when it happens, uh, I'll, I'll take this video and put it over there. So the chat may not be there. I, I, I don't. I never. I don't know. I've never done it before. So maybe there's a way to move it. Maybe maybe they give me an option to actually completely move it with chat over to the other channel. If not, the chat may not be, you know, visible on chat replay. But I'm trying to make sure and click every every comment and throw it on the screen so people watching this this uh, live stream on replay can see everything that everybody said um, Reese's pumpkins are here I don't know it has begun some people believe they are primates then copy primate behavior so they in turn go out into the woods and Act like a gorilla. Yes. And I, I just don't see how they can remotely think they are, you know, gorillas. Now, technically, we're primates too, but, but, um, but you mean like chimps and gorillas and orangutan type primates. Um, every, you know, okay, these footprints, I think everyone can agree that some of these footprints are legit, that Dr. Meldrum has been able to authenticate that they are created by a living thing and not fake, that they have characteristics about them that indicate that they are legitimately some large footprint of some something those footprints are human um i, I don't know how much i want i mean what, what time is it yeah i don't know how much I, I want i don't know if i can fully explain why i say that like because some people think well maybe another Another human like, I'm like, no, there's the combination of characteristics all, no, this, this, what made those footprints and what stands that fully upright stance and exhibits the level of intelligence and the ability to stay out of sight of us so well, all, all these different things about them add up to that is at the very least a very at the very least a very recent very recent uh divergence from us and so recent so recent that it's actually the same species it's almost got to be the same species um and and of course a lot of people are like how can it be the same species it looks so different yeah well Look at the variety of differences in the humans on the planet now, you know. Look, look, just look at the different types of people. We have plenty of differences. Look at dogs. Look at a chihuahua next to a St. Bernard. St. Bernard, which I can't even remember. It's like many times bigger than a human. And Sasquatch is typically referred to as being something like maybe four times the size of the weight of a, of a human uh, weight four, would be four times, but in height, it's not even double the height, typically, in the reports, right? Sometimes it is, but, um, but uh, that goes into the body mass and all that stuff. But the differences, the observed differences between the Sasquatch and us are less than the differences that you, you see between a Chihuahua and a St. Bernard. And they're both the same species. They're both dogs. 
they're both wolves. They're the same species as wolves, even though science gives them different scientific species names. They are the same species. I hate that I hate that they name it like that because it it, it, it it indicates that makes it look like they are separate species. But wolves, chihuahuas, and St. Bernards are all the same species. And uh, they can interbreed um, as far as sperm and ovum goes. Now, if a St. Bernard tries to breed with a chihuahua, there are going to be some problems. <laughs> and I think that similar problems that would occur between Sasquatch and human, but normal human like us, but still it, it doesn't matter. Um, an offspring can still be created even if it kills the mother or you know what I mean? It, it's still genetic compatibility. So but yeah, they, too many people assuming they're a monkey. Cool, Hylus. Yeah, Halloween. I don't think I'm. I don't know if I'm gonna participate in Halloween in any way, shape, or form this year. I can't remember. Many years ago, I dressed up. <laughs> it's been many years. Yeah, keep it up. Who was gonna correct you? Oh, on the primate thing? Yeah, but I mean, you know, I don't mean to correct you. I just, uh, um, it, it primate is it's just one of those words that, you know, some of them, I mean, it's like uh, people using the word theory too. Like sometimes it comes out of my mouth too when I really mean hypothesis, just because it's done so much in our culture. That um, that it just it's hard to it's hard to hard to weed it out. Um, I was more so when I was a kid. Um, if you mean like, I mean, I I, I think I, I, mean, I have artistic tendencies. You know, I, I'm really more interested in writing uh, scripts, uh, script writing these days, but. Although I don't really engage in too much along those lines. Uh, it's just very time consuming and I don't think I'll ever... Um, I just don't feel like I would ever be uh, sell a script, you know, if I, if I fully completed one. Used to draw a lot when I was a kid. I would say we were watching an older show called Couplings. Thanks, brother. I'll get I'll get Lockbeard on one day. <laughs> will you? No, but I will. How do you find it? Uh, worldwide cover up. Yeah, yeah. For some reason, Brandy says all oh, shit. Um, YouTube would preferably have clips. I don't think it airs anymore. I have the series on DVD. Not sure if it ever aired in the states. Lester says, if you stand in a room with the strongest man in the world, you would think you and them were different species. Yeah. 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 And I can't absolutely prove that, you know, but um, we, we need the actual DNA, you know. Nikki's having a Halloween show. Yeah, she is. And she'll be on tomorrow night. So, um, if anybody doesn't already know, I think most everybody knows, um, Nikki's new show comes on Sunday nights. And it is, uh, it's, uh, for, in my time zone, it's 7 o'clock uh, on Sunday. 7 o'clock Central Time is Central, my time is Central Time. That's the time everything is listed in Central Time on the uh, Paranormal TV Guide. So that would be, you know, 6 o'clock Mountain Time, 5 o'clock Pacific Time, um, 8 o'clock Eastern, 
and uh, 1 a.m. for Mr. Lee over there in the UK. So, anyway, it's called uh, uh, Harry Man Hoaxes and Hoodwinks. And uh, Nikki's talking about um, focusing on hoaxers and stuff. <laughs> yeah. Here's my thoughts. This is undeniable effect. We are all diving down this rabbit hole. So how do we all bring this to light? <clears throat> I don't know. You know, you got to get a body. You know, I, I don't. And that's a problem because, I, you know, as thinking that they're human, I don't think we should kill them. That would be murder in my eyes. So acquiring one that's died already somehow and then managing to get it exposed to the public uh, so thoroughly that they can't hide it. Um, I, I don't know. How do, we, how do we achieve that? I mean, first you got to find a dang body and no one's been able to come forward with one. So, um, you know, evidently they're hard to come by, and if you do come by them, the guys in the suit, black suits, show up and uh, neuralize your ass and steal the body. Maybe they disappear you. You know. So, how do we bring this to life? You know, and I almost wonder if it's a good idea to say, you know, exactly what I think someone should do if they find a body. Because then they're going to be ready, you know. They're going to be looking to deal with that. So I think everybody can think about it and figure out how would they, how would they thoroughly expose it to the public well enough that uh, that it can't be hidden. You know, if you find a body, you need to secure it somehow. Um, but who's got a freezer that big, right? You need to take a bunch of samples. You know, you know, maybe some hair and skin samples, and uh, there's something that's easy to take a whole bunch of them. And then uh, be ready to mail them all out to different people and have some hidden in different locations so that if this shit goes wrong, you still at least got that and all is not lost. <clears throat> and then find a way to roll up to as many people as possible with the damn thing on a trailer with a tarp over it and just yank the tarp off and let the shit storm start. Maybe a Walmart parking lot. I don't know. Just pull up right by the front door of Walmart parking lot, stop right there in the drive. Everyone coming in and out of that place has got to walk right into your trailer and there on it is a squatch. Have cameras on everything, live streaming with your phone or whatever you got. So when the when the when the when the assholes come to try and take it, you got it on camera too. Yeah, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to get freaking crazy, dude. That's not my goal. I have no desire to prove anything to anyone. I have the desire to experience things myself. Uh, Mr. Lee says, Judy, get a Sasquatch specimen. We can study. Only way. Yeah. I think some something tells me you're an amazing artist. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I used to draw a lot when I was a kid, but I didn't really run with that. You know, because just didn't. 
played some music too when I was younger, but I don't really do that anymore. Brady says, I honestly don't understand why we have to prove they exist to the world within the community to those interested. Okay, that's understandable, but outside of that boggles my mind. Well, I want to, in part, because I want us to stop, I want humanity to stop destroying habitat. Not just for Sasquatch, but for everything. We just keep taking and taking and taking. And in one of these days, it, it, something will happen where we'll wish we had kept more preserved than we did. And we will be struggling to survive and we'll have to start eating each other. And it'll be, it'll be just a holy shit clusterfuck. We need to live in way more harmony with nature than what we have been doing. And, uh, you know, that's, that's why I wanted it. Because I think that if we expose the existence of Sasquatch to everyone, people will be like, well, you know, they'll, there'll be a resurgence in the, in the, in the drive to preserve natural habitat because now we're not just stealing it from stupid animals. We're stealing it from a race of people. And, uh, we, we sit here just, just taking over in the entire world. Like a, like a, like a, we're just run, overrunning every habitat on the planet like roaches. Like we, we didn't originally start out in every habitat on the planet. We started out in certain certain area, and we just happened to get s smart enough that we were able to start running around and, and able to adapt to anything. You know, if it's cold, we get a get a coat, we build a fire. Uh, if it's hot, we, you know, put in an air conditioner. If it's dry, we irrigate. You know, it, it, we just, it, so we just go and we take over every habitat we can and, and we just destroy, destroy, destroy. And eventually, you know, there's not going to be enough to, to sustain us if there, you know, say an asteroid hits the planet. And, you know, sends dust into the air and most of the plants die off. And, and now we're really scratching. But if we'd had more preserved habitat, the, we wouldn't be scratching this hard uh, to survive. But it's like we're setting ourselves, we're setting ourselves up to, to great misery and death. That's what we're doing. So that's part of the reason, but also part of the reason is, is I think that, that it's a very interesting thing, you know, that these, that they, these other race of people exist and, and, uh, we need to learn more about them and, and, and learn more about how to deal with them when we encounter them, have a protocol, you know, so if you run across them, you don't try to, don't try to do this, don't do that. Best thing to do is walk away. Uh, respect that they want you out if they seem to be if they're sending you the, the appropriate messages get out that kind of stuff and uh, and just and to stop hurting these other people I feel like we're we're just taking more and more from them so we need to stop hurting them so it's for animals it's for plants it's for the Bigfoot and it's for us it, in our best interest to stop destroying any new habitat and start making it a prime effort to start reeling our, our impact back as much as we can. And, uh, you know, stop with the urban stra st uh, sprawl. You know, we, Oklahoma City over here in Oklahoma, you know, it, 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 its city limits extends outside of Oklahoma County at this point like it's 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 spread it, its own county can't contain it anymore 
and we just keep doing it and doing it and there's so many species that are are hurting and you know people don't really hear hear about it you know and they seem to be carrying less you know like those box turtles that, you know people don't seem to uh, care that their numbers are falling you know we're destroying habitat people running their ass over on the road you know and other stuff that we do spraying chemicals i mean we're 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 destroying our world slowly but surely so we need to stop i think a revelation as big as the existence of bigfoot would help us towards that goal <laughs> yeah judy right we're not wanting to prove it's a known fact for everyone to consider what do we do with all this uh, Brandy says she wore an itsy bitsy teeny weeny yellow polka dot bikini. Just want to hear her random. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> uh, I'm gonna try and catch up. Sorry, not sorry, huh? Uh, Brandy, you definitely only fans are saying, Harvest, you're gonna get yourself in trouble. Lockbeard is not a supporter of OnlyFans. That's the dumbest thing. <laughs> Jesus. Hands and feet. Um, Danny says, I don't think we will ever we will ever knowingly get access to a body. Even if somebody found one, I don't think they could leave with it. I agree that with that world is definitely going to hell but if their existence is proven will it actually be beneficial to them yeah you're, you're right it could go badly but um i hope it goes in a better direction because right now there's no public outcry of support to preserve um their homelands from us because most people don't know that they're real most people think it's just a myth so if we prove they're real then we'll get a whole new wave of support that some of us uh, uh, uh that some of us want for what we want to preserve their home and not harm them Brandy says, and the uncertainty of that is what I don't trust. If their safety was guaranteed, I would be helping in the research. Yeah. Is Bama still here? She posted an amazing picture on our community tab. I was impressed. Very detailed, clear face. Uh -huh. Oh, my God. Big, huge pet peeve of mine. Cutting down big, beautiful, alive trees infuriates me. Yeah, it happens all the time. Um, you know, I, I studied uh, a lot of botany, dendrology, study of trees. Um, you know, there's so few old trees left anymore because, you know, we, we're just cutting them down. And, And, uh, of course, that's not good for the bees because these big old trees are the ones that have cavities in them that bees can live in. So there's a little problem there. Um, uh, sometimes when I'm driving around, I'll see a tree and I'm like looking at this tree and I'm like, that tree needs some attention because um, if it doesn't get attention, it's going to end up dead. Um like entirely dead and what i mean by tension is uh, like uh, it needs uh, some trimming done to it to prevent it from becoming a problem um there's been a number of these in the past and it almost always uh, if it's if it catches my attention driving down the road it usually ends up it ends up being dead um sometimes very quickly like one time it was within a week i was like look at this tree and my buddy was driving and i was like 
they need to do something about that tree. And within a week, it was laying across the road because the storm came through and it fell down. You know, if they had gone up and done some preventative, you know, some some trimming on it, to it probably wouldn't have fallen. But um, there was another one. It was a huge, massive. Like two people couldn't wrap their arms around this big uh, maple tree, but it had a split in the middle. Now. But a huge crown on it, lots of huge, massive branches on it. Um, now, if, if someone had gone at the end of this tree and done the appropriate, the appropriate trimming to it, they might have been able to preserve this tree for a lot, lot longer. But sure as shit, very soon after I was looking at, it, actually thinking about that, you know, it's, and. Uh, it split, you know, and half it fell into the half of it fell, like split off, and you know, huge, massive mass. This is a huge tree. Of course, it landed in the road. So when they come in and start cutting things up, they just took out the entire tree, you know, because nobody's going to save like a half a tree. <laughs> they they don't like how it looks, or you know, humanness and our and the way we want, way we think things should should look. <clears throat> So they took out this big, massive tree that I think I could have saved if uh, I guess one of the rest. See, this is why I need to be like, like a stupid rich billionaire because I'd be driving down a road and I tell the driver, "Hey, stop! Pull over right there. I want to talk to the owner of this property about this tree." Like many, I'm gonna pay for it. We're gonna get some guys out here. We're gonna do some shit to preserve this tree. For, you know, I, I, I just, you know, do some, I did weird shit like that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, good protocol. Right. They just did that in a private community near me, chopped down these amazing oaks that line the road. Oh, man. Yeah. That happens all the time. Um, I went to the university in Tahlequah, Oklahoma. And they had these brick flower beds, and they had red buds in them, and they were, you know, for red buds, they were big. So when they had all bloomed, it'd be all purple all down through that, that road that goes right through campus. And one day, somebody got a wild hair and said, we need to cut all these down. And cut down all these beautiful red buds when they should have been doing is properly maintaining them all along so that they wouldn't like so a lot of people they'd be like oh these don't look they look kind of gnarly or whatever and i'm like no that's what they're supposed to look like you just you know you gotta trim it back from the road and stuff but they could have preserved those trees but they cut them all down so uh, sometimes i wonder if someone's just bored and they're like yeah just cut all those trees down y'all need to be doing something cut those down <sighs> I don't know, man. <laughs> yeah, lined. Yeah, it was the same thing with those red buds. They lined the main avenue coming through campus. Bunch of, you know, really kind of gnarly looking, you know, if you see an old red bud. They were great, but they cut them all down. It might be a disaster, but it might be what gets them the support that they need from just regular people that don't believe in them now. I, I, I bet a lot of people would be protesting that, that you know, that this is a race of people, you know, that they, they, they would be out to defend them from uh, humans destroying everything. Negative five of us. That's never going to happen. It took the government 50 years to tell us that UFOs are out there. So how long before they admit Bigfoot the species is real? It says Danny. I don't know. Well, I mean, with the... 
UFOs. I think it was just a matter of they they couldn't they couldn't lie about it anymore. You know, there were too many cameras, too many witnesses. You know, typically with Bigfoot, it's like one witness, maybe two. You know, but when you got a bunch of people seeing UFOs above a city or something like that going on, you know, you have a bunch of witnesses seeing these things in the sky, and it's on camera. They, they, they didn't, they didn't disclose shit. They admitted. <laughs> they admitted uh, they were caught. They were caught in a lie. And they just admitted to it. Using this word disclose about that is some government, government, uh, government wording things as if uh, we're going to allow you to know this thing. Rather than, no, you got caught in a lie, you dipshits. That's what happened. You didn't disclose shit. You got caught in a lie. No, Lockbeard does not like OnlyFans. It's the dumbest shit I've seen. Why the fuck are people giving... I, I don't understand it. I do not understand it. Brandy says, big difference between admitting UFOs and Bigfoot, in my opinion. UFOs take up the airspace. No threat to the land, potentially. He goes around healing wounded trees. How can anyone say anything about, about that? <laughs> well, I can't because, I mean, I don't know. Yeah. Humanity is so destructive. <clears throat> and one day it's going to bite us in the ass. Judy says, right, we are the ones who may lead this to disaster between Sasquatch and aliens. Can you just imagine? <laughs> uh, Brandy, I can say I don't want to see him on OnlyFans. Yeah. Don't worry, Lester, that ain't gonna happen. I don't I, I don't know I don't know why that's even a thing, OnlyFans. Tree hugger, Judy. Judy says a massive sassafras died in Owen County, or Owen, uh, Kentucky, on Main Highway. Just incredible. Yeah, it sucks when it happens. It sucks when it happens. It's just it, you know, it's something that's getting more and more rare. You know, They're, we're just. Uh, as we cut down more and more and we put in new housing additions and we just keep spreading out more and more. And, uh, you know, when, when does it end? You know, you know, there's very few places where it's just open wilderness, really. I mean, some people try to say, oh, we got all these acres. I'm like, yeah, but the entire damn continent was that when we got here. And we've managed to fuck up most of it. And if we'd done that up until this point, what are we going to do in the next hundred years? You know, what's going to happen, you know, with these rumors that China actually may have control of our national parks and stuff. Don't know for sure if that's true. Heard it. But if they do, what do you think they're going to do? You think they give a shit about national parks? You know, do you think they give a shit about Sasquatch? They're probably just going to eat them or something. You know, who knows what they'll do. He tried. Brandy says, oh my God, my hair just got all stuck up in my headphones. Thought something was pulling my hair, turning around, swinging. <laughs> do you have a ghost? Have a ghost to Olock. We're talking about Ken's free will video. I thought that was cool. Um, like a recent video? Did I miss a recent video? Hi, Vos. Um, I haven't been able to be on YouTube as much as normal of late. Um, been a long day today 
trying to get some shit lined up and it's just not all working out. <clears throat> but, um, yeah, I don't know if I saw the one you're talking about. But, um, everybody should check out his channel, though. You know, that's not really, it's not a Sasquatch community channel now. It's not Sasquatch community. Ken does not believe in Sasquatch. <laughs> Um, Brandy says OnlyFans isn't a bad platform. Not everyone uses it for X-rated content. They allow you to do so much, much more than other platforms. Some use it just to bypass censorship. So I've heard. Yeah, but you know, I, I don't know. I don't want anything to do with it myself. Because if they allow X-rated content, it's going to pretty much be more and more just all kinds of X-rated content. And, you know. And I, I don't know what the deal is. You know, the guys... Are, are, guy, are, are the guys watching these girls do... Whatever the hell they're doing live? It, are they, you know, are they just bored with normal pornography that they have to see it live now you know you know what i mean i uh, it's uh, probably it's probably a, some kind of psychological dysfunction at this point uh for the people watching uh you know live sex acts it's probably not good for them Uh, Lockbeard, who's on your list of hoaxers then? Oh, I can't tell you everybody, Mr. Lee. And I'm sure there's some, there's probably a bunch of them I'm not aware of. Probably a bunch of them I'm not aware of, but, um, um, Hybla says, yeah, Ken did one recently. Check it out. I've always said it was an illusion. Yeah, well, and that was kind of kind of what I was saying earlier. In a way, it's just a different way of saying it. Um, you know that every idea that can possibly exist in reality already exists. So that, in effect, I mean, it's kind of the same thing. Free will doesn't exist because your decisions are already part of the program. You know that you're based on. So. Um, Lester says, Mr. Lee, I posted one on Bigfoot Weekly. Brandy, nice try. <laughs> yeah. Lester, what's Bigfoot Weekly? Uh, Hyvala says, I'm definitely getting an OnlyFans because censorship. Yeah. Sure. Sure you are. Brandy says, hey, I don't judge people need to make money. I don't personally want an account there, but to each their own. Lester says, Nikki's Facebook group. I don't know what what about it, though, he means. But, um, yeah, I have this good plan. <laughs> Mr. Lee says, Lester, can't stand Facebook, but I'm watching Nikki's channel. Yeah. So. Have we accomplished anything tonight? Probably not much. But, um. If nobody's got anything else, probably going to go ahead and wrap her up in a second here. Um, hopefully next week is a little more interesting than this one. And hopefully I have time to do some more on YouTube. And hopefully I don't get banned again and uh, all that good shit. So, uh, yep. Good night, Danny. 
Lister says, I'm trying to get kicked off Facebook myself. <laughs> it's not that hard, Lester. Everyone have a great night and safe stay. God bless, says Annette. Mr. Lee says, I've, it's been good to see you when you come back on Lockbeard Channel. Uh, I'm not sure exactly. Um, the band will be up in a few days, and then, uh, you know, I don't know if I'll be doing random lives this next week or not. It just depends on how things are going. But I'll probably still try to do Phenomena on Saturday night, regardless. Uh, Brandy says, look up the community guidelines. Maybe that will help you get around the algorithm. Yeah. It's, they're ridiculous. So the guidelines, they're just ridiculous. They're, they're trying to, they're trying to manipulate what information you see. They're trying to act like they're trying to keep, keep you away from misinformation, but they are the ones trying to push misinformation. And they're trying to hide true information. You know. All right, y'all. Um, have a good night. Thanks for coming. And, uh, Hopefully uh, see y'all on the right channel next time. Good night.